Hi everyone, this is Galen Martling. Today I'm showing Unity Stamp Company stamps and I'm going to create a background and a masculine beer card. And I'm using colors that pop and I'm using high contrast on this. I'm gonna show how I did this. For the stamping, I'm using Unity's I Wish You Were Beer or Wish You Were Beer stamp and also Infinite Birthday Wishes background. I have hugs, kisses, and birthday wishes sentiment in there and chicks script salutation die set i'm using all from unity these are really great together and it's good to have masculine cards on hand sometimes those are hard to make and this is just another idea um, to create one and so i use the original misty with um, i use a dark blue cardstock and white cardstock for stamping. Now I stamped the um, the beer glasses in a a Copic friendly ink. I used Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink for this and I went three passes on all the stamping. And so um, now I'm going to use a powder tool to set the paper ready for embossing. I'm using Wow Embossing ink pad to stamp the background. I do that two or three times and then um, just make sure it's a good impression there with the original Misty and then add em white embossing powder over that and then you heat set it with a heat tool to make sure all of that powder becomes set and sort of raised a little bit um, after the embossing is finished. It sort of melts that powder and the white really pops against the dark cardstock. And so um, once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and die cut a rectangle. I use um, waxed paper in between the die and the cardstock when I have embossing just to make sure that none of that embossing gets into the die there. And so now um, once that is die cut and set aside, I go ahead and start coloring in the the glasses. Now you don't need Copic markers. I just happen to have the Copic marker colors that I needed handy so I'm using them. Just make sure that whatever you're using for coloring that your ink is compatible with that coloring medium. And so I just go ahead and in different layers of the same color family, the, the gold, browns, and yellows, I just add lots of different layers and blending those colors in together to get what I think is a beer color anyway. <laughs> and so um, just finished that coloring in and for the glass I just decided to add some light blue sort of a, a teal light blue color for the glass and the hearts. I know it's a masculine card but there's hearts in there so um, I that's good. Usually, you know, I like to use those for girls, but you know, it doesn't matter. It could be for um, a love theme or just a friendship, uh, but definitely um, was going for a masculine look for the main card just to give it a bold focus. And so for the the fuzz at the top or the, the foam, I just added some a jelly roll pin in white and added some accents over the foam there to make it look more realistic. Now I'm adhering with flat double-sided tape, that background, I fussy cut, which is just cutting out those glasses there. I used a fine tip scissor. And now I'm placing this sentiment on the top and also the die cut happy birthday um, dies. Those are by Unity as well, I love it. And so I just adhere it all right onto the card base and it's all finished and ready to go for a good card for family, friends, or just anyone. I hope you take a moment to subscribe to my channel, like, and share. Thanks so much. Have a good day.